Hey friends, welcome. Happy Tuesday. I can't believe it's another Tuesday already. These weeks are flying by. Um, so glad that some of you are joining me live. Hey friends. Um, if you're catching the replay, welcome. We're glad you're here too. Um, we are excited to share some books with you tonight. Hopefully you've had a good day and you are now relaxing with your feet up and maybe a warm drink and doing something fun. Um, we are super excited in our family. We actually ventured out. Um, our local library finally opened um, to come in and browse. And so it was the first day in a very long time um, my kids got to go inside the library and um, boy, they were so excited. Oh my goodness. Um, it literally was like they were walking through a candy store, just like bouncing from bookshelf to bookshelf and mom, look at this. And oh, I can't, rem I can't even remember this. And it's been so long since I saw this. And they literally were so excited. I told my husband tonight that they literally could not be more excited about, um, returning to the library. So we had to actually cut off the books going into our basket because I could not carry them to the car. So um, we'll have to problem solve that for future weeks. I don't like to cut off book selections. Um, but it was so great to be back in the library and browsing books and holding them in my hands. And I found some really good ones that I'm going to share with you tonight. Um, and if you're new here, welcome. My name is Krista and I am one half of the Literacy Ladies. Um, Katie is the other literacy lady and we are founders of the Literacy Camp. Um, and it's been an exciting week for us this week because all of our virtual literacy camp content went live yesterday. So if you are a family who purchased a session of virtual literacy camp, that is now live and you are able to pick any week this summer to access all of that content. Um, and if you have not purchased yet and you're interested, be sure to check it out. You can check out more information on our website and I will link that below. Um, but we are so excited to serve families in this way this year. And yeah, Katie is joining us too. Um, and yeah, it's just going to be so great. Families are really enjoying the pre-recorded videos that they can use flexibly throughout their day. And it's not just technology sitting behind, you know, a screen. We have tons of um, uh, literacy activities, outdoor activities, movement breaks, snack and lunch ideas that all um, support reading and writing. And so if you are interested in that, check that out. I will link that below when we are finished. And I think, oh, thanks, Katie just dropped the link for me. Um, so if you're interested in checking out Virtual Literacy Camp, be sure to check out that link below. We have all the information that you will need right there. And I think we should go ahead and get started because I'm really excited to share the books that I found today at the library. The first one is my favorite of the whole haul. And um, it's super cute. It's called The Airport Book. And this is perfect for families going on family vacation um, this summer or if you're going on a trip. And especially if you're traveling by plane, this is for sure um, a book you'll want to check out. And my kids, we actually went to to Florida um, for spring break and we went to the airport and they thought it was the coolest book because they're like, we saw that, look at the moving sidewalk and they really were able to make connections. Um, but this book is really well written and it has tons of talking bubbles, which my kids absolutely love. They, for some reason, they're not um, totally independent readers yet, but they know when I skip talking bubbles. Um, and it just is a really fascinating book. It's very well written very interesting and I love books that um, teach about new things. So my kids definitely learned some new things about airports in this book um, and they were super engaged. So I think your family will love it too. The Airport Book by Lisa Brown. Um, and sometimes when we're in the library we find oldies but goodies. This is a book that I had in my classroom forever. It's called Dandelion and it's by Don Freeman. He actually also wrote Corduroy, um, and my daughter Kylie stuck this in our basket today, um, and I totally forgot about this book, so it was an exciting surprise. She had never read it before, 
Um, and it's a great story about being yourself. So Dandelion gets invited to a giraffe's party and he wants to look dapper and goes to the hairdresser and does his hair all fancy and wears a really nice blazer and is, you know, striking and handsome and he shows up at the party and giraffe is like, I'm sorry, can I help you? And she doesn't recognize him. Um, and so the story then ends with him being sad and, and the rain, you know, he's standing out in the rain and it washes away everything and um, giraffe finds out that he's on the porch and says, I've been waiting for you. And um, they have a silly moment at the end realizing that it was him the whole time. So a good lesson about being yourself um, is the best self to be. Um, another one my kids found today, Mouse Count. I didn't even know this book existed, but I love mouse paint. I shared that I think last week or the week before. Um, just super cute little short story um, about little mice and there's a snake who loves to munch on mice and he fills up his jar with mice and he as he's doing that he counts the mice and decides that three is not enough so he needs to add three more and then three more after that and then they end up um, the mice end up tricking him in the end because they tell him to go see that really big mouse over there and it ends up being a rock so they trick him and they get out and they escape but it's a really cute story my kids really liked that one today um, this was one I found that is really cute and I had never heard of it before. Um, the Great Donut Parade by Rebecca Bond. Um, a really fun book, rhyming book, kind of a sing-song um, story about a little boy who ties a donut with a string um, to the back of his belt. And so, as you can imagine, lots of people, or lots of animals, and then some people start following along behind and sooner or later, it becomes this big, great big donut parade. Um, and it's really cute. There's some really interesting um, language that she uses in, in this book um, and some really nice vocabulary. There are some great moments where I could, um, I could talk to my kids about some new words that maybe they had not heard before. So um, this was a really cute one and super cute illustrations. Uh, Katie's making a comment. I'm not this is so hot. You guys, I cannot read without my glasses. <laughs> uh, lots of great ones Katie didn't even know about. Cool. I'm glad that you got some good recommendations too. All right. Now you know that I am like, I cannot see without my glasses. Katie always makes fun of me. Um, and the last book, um, If You Hold a Seed. This is such a beautiful story, you guys. And it's by the same author, um, Ellie McKay. She wrote The Tallest Treehouse. I can't remember if I've shared that one yet. If I haven't, I should in the near future. Um, but this is a really beautiful story about a little boy who plants um, a seed um, to grow a tree. Um, and it's really short, really beautiful illustrations on each page, um, but talking about how something magical will happen and how there's sun and some rain and it begins to sprout and it pulls in some of those nonfiction things. I feel like I've shared a lot of books about growing and planting. I think that's just in my brain because we've been working a lot on our um, my in-laws garden and we love seeing um, all of the plants growing in there. But it's a really beautiful story about how this tree is beginning to grow. And then in the end, um, he ends up sitting on the branch of a tree and he's older um, and he's sharing the story of the seed with another little boy. So um, it's a really great story and it's a circle story and circles back around. We always love those kind of stories. Aren't they good this week? I was so excited to share you with you um, all five of those. Um, so I hope that you were able to um, add those to your Amazon list or um, throw them in your library curbside order or if you're venturing into the library in person now, add them to your list. Um, and I know your families will love them. So I think that's all for me from me, friends. Thanks for tuning in. If you're watching live, it was good to see you. And if you're watching the replay, we're glad that you are here too. Um, and share with us before you leave um, in the comments, a book that your family is loving this week. Um, I always love to get new recommendations. I actually got a text the other day from a good teacher friend of ours um, who had some new titles for me 
um, that I'm excited to check out. I have them ordered um, through our electronic library, so I'm excited for those to come in, and I will share them with you as soon as I get them. So until next time, friends, happy reading, and I hope you have a great night.